After our popular video on the two year pineapple journey, we now show you how our pineapple plants produced bigger and better pineapples in years 3 and 4. So enjoy this episode on growing pineapples with lots of tips, advice and fun facts about pineapples. So this was the mother plant that was growing in the container, the one that we showed you in our previous video and it grew some side shoots. What we are doing here is we are taking the side shoots and then planting it separately in the same container. And this will grow into a new plant, a new pineapple plant. And you can grow up to three pineapple plants in this sized container. And the mother plant can continue to grow and produce pineapples. While the side shoot becomes a separate plant with its own root system. And as you can see here, there's one more side shoot that this plant is growing, which we have separated out and planted as a new plant. Now in February 2018, you can see that the mother plant has become quite large and the two babies are growing right next to it. And they will become separate pineapple plants. And we have planted one more pineapple plant. As you can see here, this is a pineapple that's around a year old. And it's growing in a 5 gallon container by itself. And this is a different pineapple variety. So this variety of pineapple actually produced a flower in the first year itself. As you can see here, it has produced this bud that will grow into a flower and then into a pineapple eventually. So it really depends on which variety of pineapple you grow. Some varieties will grow pineapples quickly, while others will take a long time. So just try with different pineapple varieties and then see which one works out best for you. As you can see here now, the pineapple flower is looking very beautiful. Now some of you had asked me what kind of a container you need to grow pineapples. Do you need a larger or a deeper container? And the answer to that is you just need a 5 gallon container to grow pineapples. The root systems are not very deep, so you can definitely get away with using a 5 gallon container. Now as you can see here, the mother plant has also started producing a bud and it will eventually grow into a pineapple. And this is the second pineapple for this plant. So once you harvest the first pineapple, the plant will keep producing pineapples. That was a question that a lot of you had asked. And now the other pineapple plant, the smaller one, is producing a pineapple. As you can see here, the flower or the bud looks very much like a pineapple now. And it will keep growing and will eventually become a pineapple. So as you can see here, it's looking more and more like a real pineapple now. Beautiful looking flower as well as the fruit that's forming on the top. And the mother plant now has a pineapple that's quite large in size as you can see here. And what we're doing here is we're just trimming the leaves from the pineapple plant. Now this is completely optional. We just did it to get rid of the yellowing and the browning leaves and just keep the plant in shape. Now at this stage while the plant is producing pineapples, you want to make sure that you're providing adequate nutrients to the plant. This container has almost 50% compost, which provides a lot of nutrients. But you also need to add either an organic fertilizer or a salt-based fertilizer at this stage. Now, which kind of fertilizer you want to use is entirely up to you. I usually use an organic fertilizer every three months during the growing season. And we did move this pineapple plant to a new location. And this was the container area that I don't water very frequently. It gets watered like once a week or so. And you can see here this pineapple that's being produced, which is the second pineapple for this plant, is growing pretty well. And the first pineapple was very small, the one that this plant produced. However, from the next pineapple onwards, the pineapple size is usually larger. And this pineapple variety actually produced a medium sized pineapple in the first year itself, which is quite incredible. I was actually expecting a smaller pineapple, but eventually you'll see that when we harvest this pineapple, it's pretty decently sized. And as you can see here, 
the pineapple is shaping up very well and has started yellowing now and once the pineapple starts yellowing you can harvest it in a few days now you can see here this plant is also growing a side shoot right there and eventually this can be transplanted into a separate plant and as you can see here once the pineapple starts yellowing it will just take a few days for this pineapple to become completely ripe so just keep watching the pineapple once it starts turning yellow because you may have to harvest it very soon and the mother plant as you can see here is producing this pineapple that's significantly larger than the one it produced in the first year so years 1 and 2 were the years it produced a small pineapple and years 3 and 4 are the ones where it's producing this large pineapple. Now our smaller pineapple plant has produced this pineapple that's significantly yellow on one side now and you just have to wait till it becomes yellow from all the sides before you harvest it. And here you see that the pineapple is yellow from all the sides and this is a good time to go ahead and harvest the pineapple. So once the pineapple turns completely yellow it will be very sweet, it will be very delicious. So this is a time to harvest the pineapple. And as you can see here, this is a medium sized pineapple. This is from the first year of growing for this pineapple variety. So I was really happy with the way this pineapple plant produced and that too in a small container as you can see. And it's a pretty good looking pineapple. And I also wanted to cut open this pineapple and show you how it looks like. Now in our previous video, thanks to everyone who commented about how to cut a pineapple properly. That was really good advice. However, I found that it does take a lot of skill to cut a pineapple very cleanly. So I'll try my best here. But this is the pineapple crown. You can either plant it as a separate plant or put it in your compost. And as you can see here, the pineapple skin is very thick. And we're going to be first removing the skin. And even after you remove the skin, there will be a lot of eyes on the side. And as you can see here, the pineapple looks beautiful. Extremely sweet, extremely delicious pineapple. And I'm just going to cut one slice of this pineapple before I remove the skin. Now you can even skin the whole pineapple before cutting it. But I'm just going to show you how this looks like. The pineapple is so soft and so juicy that it's actually breaking in my hands. And as you can see here, I'm removing the sides. And I'm not an expert when it comes to cutting pineapple. I'm going to be composting all this side skin as you can see. And there you see beautiful looking pineapple here. Extremely nice, extremely delicious. Now in our previous video, we got comments from some viewers that is it really worth the wait to grow a pineapple at home? You could just go to the store and buy it for cheap. Now it all depends on what you really want. Gardening is something that's a hobby that makes you feel connected to nature. That's something that people enjoy doing including me. I love gardening. But if you're looking for a quick fix and all you want to do is just save money, you know, go to the store, buy a pineapple, that's perfectly fine. But for those of you who love gardening, you know what I'm talking about. And if you really feel connected to gardening, if you love gardening, please put in a comment in the comments box below uh, to show the world how much you love gardening, how much you like growing plants, how much you feel connected to nature when you're growing plants. And this is not really a quick fix. It's not really about money, about getting cheap stuff from the store, from the grocery store. This is the joy of growing your own pineapples at home. And you know what's going into your soil, you know what's going into your plant. There are no pesticides, there are no chemicals. So the fruits that you're getting are of extremely good quality. So definitely this is something that I would recommend for people who love gardening, not for people who are looking for saving money or a quick fix. And this is the mother plant that had produced the pineapple in the first year. And this is the second pineapple that this plant is producing. And as you can see here, it started yellowing now. That means it's ripening. And soon we're going to be harvesting this pineapple from this pineapple plant. And this is the largest pineapple that we've harvested. As you can see here, quite a large pineapple. 
and the biggest pineapple harvest that we have made. And this is not only very beautiful, it's also very fragrant and quite large in size as you can see here. So it's definitely worth the wait. In the first two years, the pineapple that will be produced will be smaller in size. But in years three and four, as you can see here, the pineapple is much larger. And the same pineapple plant will keep producing more pineapples for years to come. So there we have it folks. We hope you enjoyed this episode on growing pineapples. If you like this video, do give us a thumbs up. And if you have any questions, put them in the comments box below. If you love gardening and love watching plants grow and feel connected to nature, do express your love for gardening by putting in a comment below. We'll see you again soon. Happy gardening.